Hello, my name is Chris and I will get started. This is the 2021 Nissan Kicks and this is a subcompact crossover. In this video, I will explain what is new, look at the exterior, interior, standout features, and engine. Then, give you my thoughts on the road. Let me know if you bought one and why you chose it over its competitors in the comments below. New for 2021, Kicks gets a refreshed exterior, new wheel designs, upgraded interior, new seating and trim materials, new 8-inch screen depending on trim. Also standard across the lineup are Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, Nissan Safety Shield, which are a host of electronic driving aids and safety features. Nissan brags that Kix offers large interior space with an urban city-sized exterior, and I will show you it does. The exterior styling is improved, and if it looks practical, that's because it is. The paint color is trendy and the blacked out roof is stylish. The mags are nice and the Nissan design language is evident. This is the all equipped model. Prices range from base S at $20,000 Canadian plus destination plus all our onerous taxes and this tester, the all equipped SR Premium, chimes in at $25,000 Canadian plus plus plus. For perspective, this all equipped model is quite a deal going for the same price as the base Toyota CHR. The rear trunk room is huge, practical, probably more room than you'll ever need. The rear seat is surprisingly spacious and comfortable, one of the best actually, and sitting in front is a pretty good imitation of a compact crossover. So far, so good. The ergonomic experience is a short learning curve. Everything is simple, the equipment is complete, and you don't need an instruction manual. The infotainment is relatively easy to use, the climate controls are straightforward, the dash can be easily read, the seats are as comfortable as seats in this category get, and you feel your money in terms of, I'm getting all this for $25,000? On this tester, you get a 360 rear backup camera, upgraded seat material, LEDs all around, intelligent cruise control, remote engine start, leather steering wheel, Bose sound system, and automatic climate control. Pretty good. The engine is a 1.6 inline four cylinder that makes 122 horsepower and 114 pounds of torque. The only transmission is a CVT and kicks is a front wheel drive. Fuel economy is 7.7 .7 liters in the city, 6.6 .6 liters on the highway, or in the USA, 31, 36 MPG. I think this is a very solid entry. Here are my thoughts on the road. Hello, car lovers driving the Nissan Kicks 2021. This is the all equipped version. What to say about this vehicle, I've had it for the week and I've been averaging about eight liters per 100 kilometers, which is very good when you consider I've only practically been doing city driving. We'll start with the exterior styling. The exterior styling is quite tasteful, I think. Uh, the paint color is nice. The two-tone approach I find is very nice. That's usually a premium feature on more higher end models. Very good on that level. You do have reasonable 17 inch tires. You do have nice black mags. It's, it's very nice for the price. I think it's pretty good. The interior now, well, this interior is where I think the Nissan Kicks is very strong. I think the strongest competitor to this vehicle is the Hyundai Venue. I mean, they're very similar. And there are certain things this vehicle does perhaps equal or better than that venue. I'm gonna talk about this, this no brainer approach to the interior as Ross likes to say. Very simple climate control, very simple to use infotainment, a, a very simple dash layout. One side uh, practical speedometer, the other side a digital interface which is very easy to navigate through. You get into this car, you know how to use it, there's no fumbling through instructions manuals, there's no fumbling through menus too much. I really like that kind of ownership experience. I get into so many cars every year and I, I don't wanna, I just don't wanna learn things, right? I learn enough at work, I learn enough with life. When I get into my car, I want things to be simple. The space here is surprising. I think the goal of this vehicle is to, to give you the impression you're in a crossover, but you're really in a stretched out in height hatchback. It does that, the seats are high, the driving position is elevated, it's higher than all the other non-crossover vehicles on the road. You do have this tremendous window here in front, tremendous window here, really easy visibility rear three quarters and the rear visibility pretty good on that level. This all equipped model has a 360 degree camera. Really for that price, it's, it's kind of amazing. On the highway, the noise vibration harshness is average I'd say, seat comfort average I'd say for the class, not better, not worse than its competitors. Um, you do have a steering wheel, which is, has a leather trim, though a plasticky leather trim. 
okay on that level. This vehicle does come with the optional Bose sound system. There is a speaker here in the headrest, though it is a bit gimmicky. I would go uh, perhaps drop the headrest option and perhaps put the money in better speakers. That would be even better. For this vehicle, it doesn't play superbly well. You're not getting into a Lexus. However, there is better bass response at lower to medium volume. Uh, I think most people, when they buy these vehicles, they either buy the uh, low trim or the middle trim. And for this price, you can practically get a low trim model for $25,000 tax in, I think, or perhaps $26,000, which is kind of amazing. That's the price of a lot of used vehicles. Y you are getting a good deal if you want a brand new vehicle, taking care of it from day one. The suspension, well, the suspension is relatively soft. It, it, it rides pretty well. It does feel a little bit top heavy, as do all these vehicles. No surprises there. It does take Montreal's roads in stride, except of course the worst ones, and it does crash over those a little bit. I think we, we expect that. Overall, I think this is a really good value, especially when you consider all the space you have here. In front, there's lots of room. Sitting in back, there's, there's a decent amount of room. When I'm sitting behind myself, there's plenty of room. And also that trunk is very big. When you fold it down, there is a big bump. However, it, it's still very big. So you're getting quite a bit of value for this vehicle. I'm not sure many of its competitors do as well in terms of the practicality and the ease of use. The final analysis is I have to recommend this vehicle on the lease. I have to recommend it on the purchase, at least to the short to medium term. For sure, Nissan does not have the reputation of, let's say, Toyota or Honda in terms of the long-term reliability. They once did, but that was decades ago. Now they're more comparable to the average. So on that level, you have to do your research. But nevertheless, for the lease, definitely recommendable, highly recommendable, actually, I'd say. And that is the review. By the way, if you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. And if you really like it, well, then, of course, you should subscribe.